Hey, so I thought it was about time for another honest vlog. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the good things about having had a bad relationship. You might be lucky, you might go through your teenage years and your 20s without having a bad relationship. You might have good judgement and pick the nice guys or the nice guys might find you and you might not have to face these issues and lucky you if that's the case. Um, but a big chunk of us all have at least one disastrous relationship. But I've learnt that the teenage years and your 20s are kind of the years that you're meant to make mistakes, you make silly decisions, you take risks, um, and then hopefully you'll learn something from them and you'll know how you want to live the rest of your life, um, the things you want to avoid, the people you'll want to avoid, the traps you don't want to fall in anymore. Um, so I haven't been too unlucky on the whole. I've had I've met some lovely boys, um, two of which I'm still good friends with now. Um, obviously there were bad points during the relationship, but in hindsight you realise they were good guys. Um, it just wasn't meant to be, you know. Sometimes just the situation means it's not meant to work out. Perhaps there's distance, perhaps you're at different stages of your lives, or perhaps you're just not a good match for each other in a romantic sense and you're better off as friends. But I have had one disastrous one that lasted, I don't know, three years. And it has affected me on a, in a huge way and probably will do for the rest of my life um, in both positive and negative ways. So this was a, there's only one way of saying it, it was an abusive relationship um, it made my confidence go down um, affected how I think about myself and my self worth um, how I look at my body, my face, um, everything really, it affected how I trust people, it affected my views on pretty much everything. That said, now I know I won't put myself through that again, it was hell on earth and I realised that that's not the life I want to lead. Um, when you're in that bubble it's very hard to see because you think everything's your fault because they've made you believe that you are rubbish and a piece of crap. Um, now I know that it was them that had the issue, it wasn't me and I deserve better than that and everyone does. Um, so relationships like that they, they make you see that the nice guys that are out there, the ones that treat you well, that have your best interest at heart and um, want to make you happy. Um, and I've, I've found that since then and the difference is measurable. Um, but like I said, although I would never choose to repeat those years, um, I've learned a hell of a lot from it. and. I'm sure everyone that's had that bad relationship will feel the same. You, I wouldn't. I want to say I'm stronger, you know, Kelly Clarkson. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, and all that sort of stuff. But in some ways, it has made me weaker. Um, it's a, it's a long process to get over those sorts of things. You've got to build up your confidence again. You've got to build trust in people again, and you've also got to find a way to not dwell on the past. Um, it's very hard not to think about those really dark moments, you know, in the quiet times when you're in bed or you're having a bad day anyway, your mind seems to drift back to those times. Um, but like I said, it's also made me stronger in other ways. I am I know exactly what I don't want from life. I know what's worth fighting for. I know the people I want to spend time with. And there's a lot to be said for that. It's funny, I find myself talking quiet about this because there's still some shame about it and I'm still 
affected by it, I guess. But I want everyone that has had that tough relationship to make sure they find positives from it because you can't let them beat you, you know? That you've got to show them that you can move on and have a happier life without them and I don't know I don't even know where I'm going with this but I was just thinking about this so I thought I'd do a little blog post about it um, like any bad experience use it to your advantage I guarantee there is something that could be learned from it and some something that you can gain from it that will improve your future in some way after all what they say is knowledge is power isn't it so it will have given you some knowledge of some sort about some topic um, and if you're in a situation where you you know that you are in a bad relationship there is always a way out sometimes it seems that there isn't it seems hopeless but trust me I thought my situation was hopeless but I got out and I'm in a much better place. I really don't feel like I've done this post justice at all actually. Um, so I've just, I'm going to try and record something else to add on to the end. Um, I think I'll do another a post about, you know, how to know when you're in a relationship that is not good for you, you know, one of those toxic, unhealthy ones. Because um, there are signs that I am now aware of. Um, and they're traps that I don't fall into anymore and if I see patterns emerging I nip it in the bud straight away and say I'm not going to take that. I've probably become less of a doormat which is good for me but maybe a bit annoying for other people because they don't get their way so much. Um, another thing you'll find is if you suddenly get a bit more strength about these things and you're a bit more forceful with your opinion and just your status in the relationship people will be like why are you being a bitch or why aren't you nice anymore when in fact you're just being the way you should have always been um, but because you were so gentle and meek and a pushover before perhaps they just notice the difference more um, but remember that's their issue not yours um, if you're unhappy you have every right to say something and don't let anyone feel you, make you feel unworthy because everyone's worthy of being happy and being treated in a kind and considerate way so don't allow it to happen and that's something you learn from a bad relationship. I really hope the majority of you haven't had to go through one um, but as I said if you do you can get out and you will gain something from the experience. So all is not lost. Anyway, sorry, a bit of a depressing one today, but I felt it's something I needed to say. Um, as usual, comment below if you want anything else on this channel. Um, yeah, any ideas, welcome. Have a good weekend.